Welcome back. So over the weekend I worked on replacing the autopilot servos, the ones that um, had the problem. So this is one of them out. And so I got that done and now the autopilot's functional. So that's one step forward. All right, back out here. I've got my uh, infrared camera and uh, one of our other Sony cameras set up on the back there. So I can uh, look at the temperatures on the belt and uh, see if it's getting hot on that trailing edge there where it's pushing up against the fence. So uh, it's going to do like a, a, a low RPM run to start with and then just check my camera, make sure we're having, nothing's moved there, and then I'll do a, a higher run. Cherokee and we'll see how that goes. So this is using my uh, infrared camera that attaches to my phone. And I've got it sort of mounted there looking at the pulleys and also looking at the exhaust there. And the goal here is to see if there's any heat buildup on the uh, edges of the pulleys there, or sorry, the edges of the belts where they rub against the fence. So that would be the right hand side of each of the belts there that you see up in the top left corner. So this is just a bit of a warm up run here just to, uh, you know, get the engine up to temperature. And as you can see there, the orange bit, that's um, the exposed part of the exhaust header there that goes into the Y pipe. And initially, you're not really seeing any sort of heat build up there on where the belts are. That little bit of orange that you're seeing on the right side of the right belt, that's reflection coming off the aluminum of the pulley. Um, and likewise, down there on the idler, the orange that you see down there is also reflection. Uh, so you know just on this little short run there uh, nothing um, exciting going on and I've got the scale here set to um, 400 degrees is basically where it goes bright yellow um, or bright orange and if you watch carefully now on that left belt and look at the right edge of it and we just watch there over time you'll see a bit of heat start to build up on there uh, the other one's a bit hard to watch because you've got the aluminum reflecting there but if you see that belt now, just keep an eye on it. You can start to see a little bit of orange starting to develop on the right-hand side of that left belt. So it is getting warm, but I mean, it's probably not even getting to, you know, um, 60 degrees uh, Fahrenheit or, you know, because it was cold out too when I did this. Um, and then the infrared change on there. So nothing really to see there. I'm, I'm not worried about the belt temperatures getting too hot on the edges there. So uh, that's all good for now. And after doing that run, the battery on the infrared camera pretty much died. So uh, what I was going to do next was just do a run where I have the uh, prop set to flat pitch. And um, just wanted to go to full power and see how that went. So that's what I'm about to do here. It moves during the, you know, higher power run, so I'm going to try it now just with a total flat prop and uh, see how that uh, works and then I'm just going to taxi back and look at the video and just make sure I don't want to go powering down the runway after I've made all those changes without verifying what's going on there uh, visually. And if you watch carefully here where I bring it up to uh, 3800 RPM on the engine, you'll see a couple of blips and sort of vibration on the camera. And I'll explain what that is uh, afterwards. So as you can see, I thought the belts were slipping again, uh, but I ended up tightening the, tightening the tensioner multiple times and it didn't make a difference. And now I'm really thinking that I was hitting the rev limiter on the ECU and we'll talk about that in a little bit. All right, so I got the uh, tensioner 
adjusted up pretty much to spec now and my camera on there so I can see what's going on um, see if it's jumping at all I'm taking it at a flat prop right now to 3800 RPM on the engine 24 on the prop and we'll see if it jumps um, at those settings and then I'll come back and do one more run and try it like 3500 RPM with some um, you know some prop in there and see if it also jumps there um, and uh, we'll see how it looks on the video Are you guys clear down there yet? Oh, sorry about that, we're having issues. Yeah, we're uh, clear, we're almost up to the FBO. Sorry about that. All right, but you're off the runway, right? Take that as a yes. Cherokee traffic, experimental two tango, Delta, runway two three, high speed taxi, Cherokee. So this first run was with the governor set so the prop goes to flat pitch and the engine would be at 3800 RPM and the prop is at 2400 RPM and I have the rev limiter set to 3800 RPM. So there you see three distinct blips and it doesn't really look like the belt's jumping at all. Uh, the tensioner wasn't moving that much so but you see my reaction. Did it again so we'll go out and put some governor in. So that run wasn't even really max power yet um, but when it hit 3800 RPM it did those three blips. Um, so this next run is uh, putting in some prop. Put some prop in I should say. Prop pitch. And uh, this one would end up being about 3,500 RPM and, and actually got to higher boost about 43 PSI. Cherokee traffic, criminal 2 Tango Delta, clear 2 3 Cherokee. I may have to go back to the standard straight up alignment that I had before. I think this uh, scoot alignment is just throwing the whole thing off there. Which, you know, it's not a big deal to do, just, just got to do it. Cherokee traffic, experimental 2 Tango Delta, runway 23, high speed taxi, Cherokee. Uh, I think I put in enough prop there to give me about 3500 RPM, we'll see. Now I'm just going to go and look, look at the video after this. Hi Cherokee traffic, Dutch is zero 01 Romeo's on a 10 mile final in the RNAV 23 Cherokee. So as you can see there, the belts are running smooth as silk and uh, that was a lot more power being put down than the previous run where it did those three blips. Um, and I had gone and changed the rev limiter, uh, I guess about a week ago from uh, 4000 uh, down to about 3800 or 3800. So I think that's really what's going on. Um, we'll have a look at the close up video here in a minute. All right, no problems uh, stopping from pretty much full power midfield. I wasn't looking to see how fast I was going. It didn't jump that time, although I did, you know, bring it in cleanly. Check traffic, experimental 
2 Tango Delta, clear of 2 3 Cherokee. So here it is, slowed down to 1 20th of normal speed. And uh, compared to the last time where I had that uh, long view away from the pulleys when the, the belts were jumping, you don't see hardly any movement going on here with the belts. Um, the tensioners stay really tight. But anyway, I'll let you watch this for a second here. So there, right there, is the first blip, and here's the second one coming up, right there. And there's a little bit more of a break there, and then the third one happens. And I really, really don't think that the belts are jumping there. I think it's the rev limiter, and I looked in the ECU, and I couldn't find anything that indicates when the rev limiter gets hit. And uh, unfortunately, it was super cold today, and I wanted to try and get the engine started and test this uh, hypothesis but I wasn't able to get it started because I'm still dialing in the whole glow plug thing. Uh, this is what it looks like in real time speed again. And once more for good measure. And you'll have to tune in again on Saturday and see if this was actually what was going on. So thanks again for watching.